All right, we are recording. We're going to show you how to take apart the upper. That's the main goal of this one. First, you need to push this button right here. Okay. You should be able to push and pull. It should be an easy release. Okay. Now, let's go now, we're going to take off the front and the rear sight. Let's start with front. Pretty simple. Uh, this screw goes into the polymer. All right, so be careful not to over tighten it. It's pretty relatively easy. That is it. That is the front sight, nothing else. Next, we're going to go to the rear sight. Let's go to the front one first. Okay, second one. Okay, good. All right, you will see we have the original screw in here still. I'm gonna move that up here, and we have the front screw. Try to keep everything nice and organized. It will make life easier for you. Turn it over. We have these two screws right here. This will help us separate the front. Okay, I'm trying to move it so you guys can see, but you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, guys. Okay. Just a little bit more. Thankfully, this gun is pretty simple. It is not a very hard gun to take apart, honestly speaking. Okay, we have one. And we have two. Now, these screws go into metal. You will see. If you twist and turn, you want to just, you see how I kind of just twist and turn? Twist and turn, and it'll come out. Okay. That's where these two screw from one, one and two go right into here. We're going to take off the shroud so you can get to the hop-up unit. If you are upgrading your inner barrel and bucking, you will need to do the steps. All right, so one. Boom. You'll see the small, very small screws right there, right? And here is two. Very straightforward. Boom. This will come off in a simple pull. There's an O-ring right here. Do not lose the O-ring and make sure it's nice and snug inside the shroud. You can take a look inside the shroud, it's empty. If you wish to fill it up with stuff, you can, okay? This is from the 3D printed uh, compensator, uh, not compensator, but the protector they have on it. That is it, the front part. Moving on to the blowback unit. I mean, <laughs> hop up unit. Next up, we're gonna take, there is a total of one, two, three, four screws to open up the hop up unit. Now, you need to align. All right, come on, focus. You need to align, you guys see the half moon? Come on, focus. Okay, align the half moon so you can get this screw out. Okay, if you don't, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. If you have a really, you know, if you have a really, uh, like a fat screw head, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So just make sure you align the hop-up unit so you can get the screw out. All right, we're going with top right. Top left. Okay. Bottom left. And then the one that you need to align the hop-up unit for. All right. Let's make sure they're all out. Okay, they're all out. All right, now it should come out. You don't have to worry about anything shooting out. But you should be careful. There are two things that can come out. All right, so this is the inner barrel and the bucking. Uh, I do not know the inner of this, the diameter. I'm probably going to look online for that. I don't know if it's 610, but usually they tend to be. And let's get the last screw out. So we have a total of four screws for the hop-up unit. And you will see, these are the three things that can fall out from the hop-up unit. This is what these two screws connect in from the shroud. Got it? See, so, so do not lose it. So that covers the right side. Turning it over, you will see. Oh, okay, it came out the hop-up arm. Look carefully. 
this is how it goes back in it has to it has a little slot okay boom that goes in just like that you guys see how it's in all right you guys should be able to see it. i'm gonna take it out again kind of hooks in there it's, it's actually pretty nifty i gotta give it to them i like how it's designed I want to see how their upgraded hop of unit does. I see two on the market, Stalker and Action Army, but that is how this goes back. So if you want to reinstall it, just put it back in. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so that is the hop of unit. Keep everything organized. I'm going to put all the screws and everything right here next to hop of unit. Moving on to a blowback unit. This will be the next area that you guys will take out. Now, I'm going to show you guys right here. The rear sight is responsible for holding in the blowback unit. You guys see this little slot right here? So this is important. Do not lose the screw. Do not lose the rear sight. If you do not have the rear sight in the screw, you will not be able to function. And it does have, this is the only area I see on here that where it has metal inserts. Okay, the rest, uh, polymer, 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 if, you, if you're running the polymer, and then obviously the metal insert for the uh, hop of unit for the shroud, but all right, taking it out. That is it for the upper. You do not have to worry about anything else popping out. Okay, you're good to go. Now, if you want to take this apart, you're going to lift up and look at it. You're going to see two screws right here. One, two. This is the only area where you could potentially lose some springs, so be careful. All right, I'm going to do the right one, and I'm going to put my thumb here just in case. All right, now I'm going to move my thumb over here. And we are good to go. Now, it doesn't have a lot of pressure, to be honest. You can see it's pushed out just a little bit. Just pull it out. It's pretty easy and you will see this is the return spring for the loading nozzle i'm going to pull it off i'm going to let the, the two screws fall out okay one two next thing you're going to do is you're going to see this is just take a look at it and show how it works all right this is polymer sorry it's a plastic thing this is where the return spring hooks onto so when you're ready to put it back in make sure it is seated Okay, make sure you do not damage this return spring. It's important that you keep it healthy and straight and not bent. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out the recoil spring. This is the recoil spring. You guys have known on my high cap, but this is the high cap channel pretty much. Very different setup here. Extremely different. All right, this is the recoil spring. Next up, you can push forward and pull up. All right, push forward and pull up, and it should come out right here. This is your recoil guide rod. <laughs> nothing like the Glock and nothing like the High Kappa. Extremely different. Okay, so now we have all this area. You can see we have the blowback unit. We have the hop-up unit. We have the connecting the front shroud to the hop-up unit. And then we have the front sight, and the, you, know, you can't see it out of picture. Next up you can pull now pull out the loading nozzle this is something you will probably most likely need to replace now if you want to get the rocket valve out all you got to do is knock out this pin i'm not going to knock it out now but if you need if you guys enough you say hey i want to replace the rocket valve i'll show you how to do it uh, i'll do a video i probably in the future when we do loading nozzles so check out my other video we will do a part where we knock it out okay and on mine i haven't touched it let's see can we get the focus we have one side that is inset more than the other side. You can see it's flush here. Now, I don't, every company is different. Some companies are right to left, some are left to right. We will find out in the other video when I knock it out, but for now, I'm gonna be putting this guy through the test. Okay, with that being done, that's out. So this is loading nozzle. Buy extra loading nozzles, recoil screen, return screens, Always, if you are playing with this gun as a primary. Last up, this is the full auto selector. So, uh, you know, full auto and semi. Okay. Turn, unscrew it, 
And I thought there was going to be a spring here, guys, but there is no spring. It is a very different system, okay? So next thing you do, just uh, try to pull it out. I can't pull it out, so I'm going to just, I got a little tweezers. I'm going to pinch and pull up. Okay, drop. Check it out. No springs. It has a little groove that this selector sits on and by the way this is polymer this is uh, it's uh, pretty impressive okay i've never seen uh besides uh nine ball and lalax uh you know and pdi some doing some plastic parts that were a little crazy back then but um that's it right here the next part you guys probably need to replace uh if your piston cup gets you know damaged and you're using like really shitty silicone oil or something and it damages it, you can take this out. Okay, it is a, just a simple pull. That is it. All right, it's old school, Glock 18 style, basically. I don't, I'm wondering if Glock 18 uh, piston heads will work on it. That is it, you guys can see there's a screw in here. That is all it hooks onto. You literally just push your finger on it, line it up, and you'll feel like a little, um, just a little, like, not like a click, but you'll feel like a click. And the next thing you're gonna do is just make sure it's on, Line up the grooves, go back and forward. All right, that is the assembly of the AP upper. We will move on to the lower, uh, probably down the road uh, when I get more parts. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys want to see a complete disassembly and reassembly, let me know. For now, I think we just need a disassembly. I, you know, this gun's old. Uh, I've been gone for a while, so hopefully this will help anyone out there. It's just a different angle, different take on it. Uh, let me know if you need anything, all right? I will see you guys around.